The second curse that is predominant is called a caste curse. A caste curse is when somebody pronounces a curse on you when you did them harm. The scripture says curses without a cause don't stick. Meaning if somebody curses you, if somebody hires a witch to pronounce a spell on you but you did no harm to that person, those curses they will never stick. But if the curses are pronounced on you and you caused somebody pain, those curses will stick. If you're not a follower of Jesus and there is no protection on your life of the blood of Jesus, then those curses stick. It's important to understand that cast curses affect people who are casting them as well as those directed to. Cast curses don't just work for those who receive them, it's also for those who send them. I remember hearing a story of a young man who uh, wanted to punish a girl because she didn't like him. He liked the girl and she didn't like him back. So he went to a witch doctor. Now it's not dominant today where people go to witch doctors if they want to get at somebody. We do a lot of other nastier things today. But in those days people would go to a witch doctor. He went to a witch doctor and he said, I want to cast a spell on her. Meaning I want to destroy her life. The witch doctor of course asked for some money. He gave her some money and then she created a lock and she says, I want you to pronounce all the nasty things you want to happen in this girl's life. So he, he go ahead, just open up his mouth and just let it, let it out. Said all the, I want her to do the, 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 this bad. I want her to be sick. I want her to, to die. I want her to have this and that. He said that and the witch locked the lock and threw the lock in the river and the key somewhere else. And exactly everything this man pronounced became real in this girl's life. Until a few years later, everything he pronounced on her life started to happen in his. He came to church asking God to change his life and the prophecy was spoken to him saying there is a lock and that lock is the cause of all of your problems. He says which lock? And the prophet revealed he says a lock where you destroyed someone's destiny, you cursed somebody and that curse is now working against you as well. The Bible says to us as Christians, don't curse your enemies, bless them. Because everything you send their way is coming back at you. Some of you saw the video, take a look at this uh, video. Uh, you most of you saw this, it's karma at its best. Um, pray for her. It's like curses. <laughs> you release it and it comes back right at your face. You hit somebody or you want to destroy the milk or you want to steal something and you run, you hit something else. You want to hit the horse, well the horse gets you back. You want to hit some elderly people or this what happens. You want to hit that innocent animal? You want to hit a sign? Well the sign hits you back. That's exactly how received curse curses, cast curses work. Anytime you feel obligated or somebody hurts you, somebody causes you harm and you say, you know what? I wish they'll drop dead. I wish somebody will do worse to them. I wish they break up. I wish they will be sick. Remember, you're sending a ball at the wall. It will hit them. It will hit you back. You can't throw mud in somebody's face without getting your hands dirty. Cast curses work all the time. But they many times they backfire on the people sending them, not just the people receiving them.